Clayton, how much of a gut punch was it yesterday when they told you you weren't starting game one? Uh, I wouldn't really consider it a gut punch. Um, I don't really think of it like that. I think of it get to pitch in another playoff series for six year in a row and looking forward to it. Anything else? Alden, on the right. If this goes to a game five, do you expect to be the guy on the mound for the Dodgers in game five? You'd be on normal rest. It'd be one or two of us. We'll see. Oh, sorry. Right up here front. Clay, did you, in the conversation, did you ask why? I did, yeah. Did you get an answer? I did. Would you like to share it? No, I mean, um, no, not really, yeah. All right, the front right here. Uh, Clayton, um, considering your, your accomplishments, uh, the fact that you're not pitching in game one, does, does that give you, like, some incentive to, I mean, not that you need extra incentive, but to show people that, you know, I still have it. Don't, don't get it twisted. It, I'm, I'm still the same guy. Uh, no, I mean, I don't, I don't really need to prove myself to anybody. I think I just, uh, you know, I want my teammates to have, um, to want me out there. I think that's the biggest thing. Um, you know, Hunjin's had a great season and he's pitched really well for us and looking forward to watch him tonight and uh, I'll get my turn tomorrow. Third row to the left. Clayton, when you heard the reason why, did you agree or disagree? Good question. Um, <laughs> it wasn't really an agree or disagree type thing, I guess. Um, they, they had their reasons, and I accepted them. Andy, back row, center. Do you feel like you would benefit with the extra rest at all? Um, I don't know. I'll let you know tomorrow. Um, you know, I think... I think this year I pitched with an extra day a lot more than in years past. Um, I mean, not necessarily by choice, not that I wanted to do it, um, but it's kind of the way it was designed. We had more off days now, you know, during the season, so it kind of worked out that way. Um, but I think I, I probably would have been fine either way, you yeah. know. Got a couple questions to the left, JP. Hyunjin told us yesterday that you told him that he was going to be starting game one. Can you share how that conversation went? Sure, Rue asked me uh, if I was pitching game one. I said, no, you are, and uh, we, we walked off. <laughs> Staying to the left. Clayton, in terms of pitching in a game two, is there any sort of advantage in it that you get to see the lineup the day before as opposed to game one? Um, well, you know, it, I guess I can familiar my, familiarize myself with the Braves a little bit. Um, just seeing them, you know, I didn't pitch against them at Dodger Stadium this year, so... Um, you know, watch, you know, Ruse left-handed, obviously. So kind of see how they look. Um, so maybe, I mean, probably not, but maybe a little bit, yeah. Third row to the right. Given how important routine is to you, having the extra day, does that change anything? Do you prepare differently at all because uh, of that? I mean, at this point, you know, pitching, we've had extra days all season, so kind of have almost have two routines now for extra day and regular. So um, kind of used to it at this point. Last couple questions. Anything else? Yep. Alden, on the right. Yeah, Clayton, you've been very uh, complimentary of Walker Bueller uh, throughout the year. I'm just curious, how, how quickly um, did you realize that maybe he had something a little special and what made you uh, think that? Well, I mean, his talent is off the charts. I mean, you can't teach throwing a ball that hard or being able to spin a ball like that. So, um, you know, you see it in spring training. You know, I think uh, was it this year that he? I mean, he came in and struck out like five or five of his first six in a relief outing and um, in spring training. So, I mean, we all knew that the talent was there. I think it was just a matter of. Uh, you know, it doesn't always translate to the big leagues. There's a lot of guys that throw really hard in the minor leagues that have great curveballs. So um, for him to excel as quickly as he did up here um, is a testament to him and his mindset and his ability and his competitiveness for sure.